What is up, guys? It is Bad Dog here with the post game video. And as you can see, we just got no green screen. We're going to do these post games every time like this when we get a W because I'm superstitious. New York Giants blow out the Washington Redskins today, 24 3. And there was a lot to talk about. I'll do it as quick as I can. First of all, you know, we had a blast over there on the Entertainers channel. A lot of people in there really appreciate that. Hope you guys will come over tonight to my channel for the Cowboys and Saints. It should be a great game. Hope to see you all there. 24 to 3, Giants moved to 2 and 2. It's the first time we won back to back games in I don't know how long. First time we've been at 500 since 2016. We'll start with the offense. The first two drives were phenomenal. I mean, we went right down the field, scored, no problem. Then Daniel Jones had a bit of a rough patch. Threw a couple of bad interceptions, rookie mistakes, you know, set, um, staring down the receiver, throwing the ball off his back foot, you know, uh, corner safety, jumping the, jumping the round, minute, picking the pass off. So. He's got to do a better job of that. Uh, that's something that, you know, he, again, he's going to have his ups and downs. So he wasn't horrible today. And, again, he had his ups and downs. Started off good, played a little poorly in the middle of the game, kind of got it back a little bit, made some good throws, made some good plays with his feet, extended some drives. And, again, it's just something he's got to learn from. You learn moving, uh, move going forward. Wayne Gallman, he was amazing today. He, he did a really good job out of the backfield. He had two touchdowns. He had over 100 total yards. That's something that we needed him to be in my pregame video. I talked about him being the X Factor, and he was. He did a really good job. Uh, the Giants were able to mix the run in the pass. He was effective enough where it's not like the Redskins were looking at just constantly going after Daniel Jones. We weren't one-dimensional. That was a nice thing. Um, Evan Ingram had a decent day. Sterling Shepard did really well today. He had a big game for the New York Giants. Then again, the negative on the offense, they turned it over four times. Daniel Jones threw two picks. Gallman fumbled. Hilleman fumbled inside the five. Got to clean that up. That cannot happen. That was bad. Four turnovers on offense, not good. You don't want to do that against a good team. Listen, the Redskins are not a good team. I don't think a Redskins fan is going to tell you that they're not a good They're not a good team at all. Not at all. They're really bad. But the big shout-out today, and I'm going to start off with the guy that I gave the hardest time last week, and that was Janoris Jenkins. I, I was all over Janoris Jenkins last week. I ripped this guy. Into, I went out of my way to make a video ripping him. He was great today. Great. He caused the first interception by Ryan Conley. He had an interception. He shored up the tackling. I don't know where the hell has this guy's been the last two years, but that's the Janoris Jenkins that we expect to see. Shout out to him. He played really well. As I was joking around in the in the in the you know, during the stream, the bad dog gives a guy tough love. They seem to perform the next week. Because we know Janoris Jenkins watches my videos. Right. <laughs> but from what people will tell you, they think that they do. Bad dog, I'm gonna say that you're ruining the guy. I had a guy tell me I was ruining Janoris Jenkins' life by talking about him. Yeah. The guy's making sixty-two million. I'm sure he gives a damn what I think about him. But he played really well today. Big shout out to Janoris Jenkins. The Ryan Conley injury sucks because Conley played phenomenal. His defense was amazing. They didn't blitz once. I don't think today they caused a bunch of turnovers. Dwayne Haskins looked horrible. That guy's not ready to play in the NFL. But you might as well get all of his bumps and bruises and the ups and downs out of the way. Redskins just a mess. And it showed. But this defense was unbelievable today. If the defense can ever play like that for the rest of the year and the offense gets itself going and they get Saquon Barkley back, they get Golden Tate back next week, Giants might actually be a really formidable opponent. I was really, really, really impressed with the defense. Slinger and Daniel Jones turned it over back-to-back -back possessions. And the Skins could only get three points. Huge, huge shout-out to the defense. They did phenomenal today. They did a really, really good job. They pulled Case Keenum, obviously. And like I said, Haskins threw the three interceptions. But they didn't blitz one time. The second there really shored up a lot of things. Now, I'll say this. We got a couple breaks. Grant Haley got beat twice by Quinn deep down the field, wide open. Keenum missed them both times. Should have been two touchdowns. We caught huge breaks right there. But, hey, when you catch these breaks, these are usually breaks that go against the Giants. When you start to catch breaks, maybe you start to make your own luck. Sometimes that happens. You start to build a little momentum. And teams that are good start winning games like this, where they don't play their best, where they get a couple breaks, and they end up blowing them out. Because this game was never in question. We were up 14 to nothing at the blink of an eye, and the game was over. So it's uh, it's a really, really good win for the Giants. We're 2-2. Two and two. We have a really, really tough game against Minnesota next week. We're really going to get to see how good or bad we are. That is not an easy team. It does benefit us that it's at MetLife Stadium. But, again, man, it's a big win for the New York Giants. We're 2-2. Two and two, And, hey, you know, we... Go out there and somehow find a way to beat the Vikings. And I'm going to start to believe maybe this team has really turned a corner. But things are starting to progress. We're moving in the right direction. We're starting to build that winning culture. This was, again, never in question. It was a nice one to win. Definitely got some things to work on. 
And, and again, talked about it, you know, pre-game video after post-game video last week. Daniel Jones is going to have his ups and downs. He responded very nicely. Didn't turn the ball over after those back-to-back possessions. And, um, you know, a win is a win. It's an ugly win, but I'd rather have an ugly win than a pretty – or I'd rather have an ugly win than a pretty loss any day. So that's all I got. Again, I hope you guys will tune in tonight for the uh, Cowboys and Saints. And until then, guys, we'll see you there. It is Bad Dog, and I am gone. Peace!